computations. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a winter haul. I know most people posted their winter hauls in December, but I didn't start my channel until last week, so we're gonna do it now. I live in California, so our winters are not really winter like. So the pieces in this haul suit a variety of temperatures. So let's get started. The first thing that I got is probably my favorite piece of the entire haul this lovely North Face jacket. I've been wanting a North Face fleece jacket for a super long time. I know that the puffers are trending right now, but it's totally okay to break from the trends and do your own thing. And like so many other people right now, I've been obsessed with the color forest green, sage green, brown, earthy tones like that. And I know that I'm gonna get a lot of good wear out of this. It's also super warm and it's perfect for layering. They can honestly serve as a blanket replacement. Okay, so if you're anything like me, you go on Pinterest a lot and you've been seeing these everywhere, but you're too lazy to find any because you knew they were sold out everywhere. You didn't want to pay for it because they were pretty expensive and you didn't want to hop on the trend because it seemed like everyone had them. I decided not to care about any of that. And so I have been wanting these for probably six months-ish. These are the High Rise Air Jordans and probably will be my favorite shoe for a very long time. And I know the blue and red ones are pretty popular, but I just love the darker, richer tone of this one. And like I mentioned earlier, I love forest green right now. So it's definitely the perfect shoe. I actually had no idea where to find them, but once I told my mom about them, she found them super quickly on Stadium Goods for slightly over $200, which is probably the biggest present that I got this year. I just realized these together and to stay on the topic of shoes, the next thing I got are the Doc Martin Chelsea boots. I have the regular Doc Martens that I got about four or five years ago, but I think that these give off very different vibes than the regular Doc Martens. They're a little bit more casual and laid back and not as many people have these. I know that the regular Docs are super trendy right now and almost everybody has them. So I wanted to get something that not as many people have. At first it was pretty hard to break into these the ankle hole is kind of small, but I started to wear them almost every day and they stretched out pretty quickly. Another thing I love about these is that they won't really die out after the winter or fall seasons. They can honestly be paired with anything, so I think it's a perfect year-round shoe. Also very trendy right now are these baguette bags. I've been wanting one for actually not that long, but once I saw them, that's when I wanted them. These are from a website called Fraser Sterling. I usually get jewelry there, but they had a big sale with these bags. I think it was 40% off. So I got this as a birthday present for my sister. I wouldn't buy real leather. So thankfully this bag is vegan leather. And I really love the white and the black together. I think that it's super casual, but also the white makes it a little bit fancier than a traditional black baguette bag. And honestly, one thing that I don't love about this bag is that the armhole is pretty small. I usually fit my phone, my wallet, chapstick, and some hand sanitizer and a mask in here. Not too much more, but honestly, I don't need much more. And these are one of those bags that you can wear with fancy dress and heels, or you can wear with jeans, a t-shirt, and sneakers, and both styles would look equally nice. So these are the ribcage bootcut Levi's, and I got the 33 inch ones instead of the usual 31 inch because all of my jeans are either right at or above my ankle, and so I wanted these ones to be a little bit baggier. I kinda took a big risk with these jeans. I bought them online from the website, which I usually don't do just cause I need to try them on. But thank goodness I did because they have become some of my favorite jeans and I know they will be a staple for a long time. And now moving on to pair number two. These are the ribcage straight jeans. It's a slightly lighter wash than the previous one, but it's also not a super light wash just cause I'm not a huge fan of light wash. And these run pretty small based on the reviews that I read. So I was nervous that it wouldn't fit when it came. Definitely a little bit tighter than the previous ones, not as long as the 33 inch. I'm pretty sure this is a 31 inch and it goes right above my ankle, which is perfect. So I feel fully stocked and ready for the rest of the winter with these jeans. I actually went to Brandy and picked out a few things on my own that I really liked. The first thing I got is this kind of like a cream slash beige color top. It's not too cropped. So I'm not a huge fan of crop tops, but it also cuts off pretty early. So I usually wear it with high-waisted jeans or high-waisted sweatpants. And right next to that tank top were these shorts. Don't know how I feel about these. They look pretty normal when you just look at them, but once you try them on, they kind of like 
puff out regardless i'm still gonna wear them and i think it's super comfortable especially as a set with the tank top and with this jacket which i'll talk about next so i really love the oversized look of this jacket i think that at brandy this was a size large slash xl which is surprising for brandy i know this is so warm over new year's i went to my cousin's house and instead of using a blanket i just slept in this jacket and i was completely fine so i can safely say that this is as warm as a blanket and definitely one of my favorite jackets also because of the color i think that black matches with almost anything and once again, it definitely fits that Pinterest aesthetic vibe that I've been looking for. The last thing I got from Brandy is this olive color sweater. Just a pretty basic sweater. It's not like my favorite piece, but I love it just to wear with jeans and a necklace and some boots. I think that it's super cute. A lot of my sweaters are very oversized. So the thing I like about this one is that it's pretty fitting so that I can wear it with a baggier pair of pants and they really balance each other out well. The next thing I got is this Tame Impala sweatshirt. There's a mini paragraph on the front of the sweatshirt. And it says, If your meddling work, incompetence, and lack of skill predominate, it is time to reinvent. Walk towards your future. Focus and invent your spiritual, financial, and emotional energies into accomplishing a new skill for the new you. Everything of Tame is just so colorful, bright, and honestly kind of weird. Even though it's highlighter orange, which isn't my favorite color to wear, I think it does look really stylish if I pair it with some jeans and maybe even the Jordans. I forgot to record myself talking about this sweatshirt, but I got this for my aunt for Christmas, and it's the Urban Outfitters Colorado Springs crew neck. I honestly alternate between the same three crew necks, and this has become one of them. I would also suggest sizing up just for that more oversized look. So I recently went to Urban Outfitters, and I couldn't find anything in the women's section, so I went into the men's section, and I found this sweatshirt. And it has Keith Haring's artwork in the front. I saw a few paintings in San Francisco with his work on it. And so I've been familiar with it for a while, but I never actually got one of his sweatshirts. And the unfortunate thing is one of the strings got sewn in while it was being made. So I actually can't take it out, but I will probably cut it off soon because it looks pretty sad otherwise. Just like... But yeah, I also love the fact that it's not like a plain black color, but it has a little bit more zest to it with the blue kind of looks like stormy day. However, there is nothing wrong with a plain colored Keith Haring sweatshirt. I got this one from one of my friends for my birthday. On the back, there's just a little print of his name, which I really like. I've been wearing this a lot under my coats because I've been loving putting crewnecks under my puffer jackets lately. Since there's no hoodie, it's really easy to layer. And this one's actually a size small, so it's a little bit more fitted, but I do like having the variety between the two sweatshirts. I got these pajamas for Christmas. They're from PJ. They're from a brand called PJ Salvage, and if you haven't gotten pajamas from this place yet, you absolutely need to because they are the softest and the most comfortable pajamas in the world. And I love how festive every single pair is. It just makes you feel really cozy and happy when you're wearing them. And also super put together. Like, I'd much rather wear these than my old PE shirt with polka dot sweatpants. I think I'm going to stay in these for the rest of the video. I only have one more thing, so. The last thing that I got socks these are probably the only thing softer than these pajamas this one reminds me of a candy cane and this one reminds me of little my little ponies that have like these colors i don't know like the ice cream sorbet one <laughs> and i remember as a kid i used to hate receiving socks but i feel like everyone likes to receive socks now because we're all really grandmas on the inside so those are all the things that I got this winter. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be posting most likely every week. I will link everything down below if they're still available. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are and I'll see you next week.